time for Up Against the Clock. From Northampton, Massachusetts, hometown to former president Calvin Coolidge, say hello to Kate Nocera. He was the most feared security guard at Philadelphia's Veteran Stadium, the late great home field of the Phillies and the Eagles. Please welcome former Congressman Patrick Murphy. And he's the pride of Stony Brook, New York, on the beautiful <laughs> North Shore of Long Island. Let's hear it for John Fugelsang. And now, the host of Up Against the Clock, Steve Kornacki. Ah, uh, thank you, Jim Cutler. Thank you, studio audience, and thank you at home for tuning in. Don't adjust your televisions. It is up against the clock, and we are back. It's been a few weeks, but the rules and the heart-pounding excitement remain the same. We have three rounds of play, 100 seconds each. Questions will get a little harder as we go along. Contestants can ring in any time, but they will be penalized for a wrong answer. And there are, of course, instant bonuses scattered throughout the I should also point out that this will be the final game of Up Against the Clock before our Tournament of Champions. So the field is almost set, but any one of these three contestants could break their way into that field today. So before we get started, as always, I'll remind our live studio audience to please remain absolutely silent. No outbursts while our contestants are playing. And with that, I will ask you contestants, are you ready? I'm ready. Go. ready to rock go. Roll. Good enough. Put 100 seconds on the clock. We'll start with the 100-point round, and it begins now. A one-time presidential hopeful. This House member said this week that she thinks many voters... John. America's sweetheart, Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman thinks that voters aren't ready for a female president. 100 points for John. 100-point question. This isn't Bridgegate, but this governor in 2016... Kate. Scott Walker. Scott Walker is facing <laughs> scrutiny after emails were released from his office this week. That's correct. 100-point question. After reading from it on the Senate floor during his 21... Oh, Patrick. Senator Cruz. <laughs> Incorrect. After... Green Kate, eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. Oh. Ted Cruz signed a copy of this children's book for $1,000 for an auction this week. That's correct. Moving fast here. 100 point question. A nuclear physicist. This New Jersey. Rush Kate, Holt. This New Jersey congressman Rush announced Holt. that he will retire from the House this term. Rush Holt is correct. And Kate, this is a 100 point instant bonus. No risk here. Holt and Congressman Bill Foster are the only two physicists in Congress. Foster represents a district in what Midwest state? Indiana? Incorrect. It's no. Illinois. No points for Patrick, but he's right. <laughs> Illinois. Also, no need to ring in, but it's fun. 100 point toss up question. Vice President Joe Biden will make an appearance on the premiere episode of this NBC show. Seth Myers. Kate, uh, we'll need a more specific place. Oh, oh. We have a late, chance here. Late night with Seth Myers. Late night with Seth Myers is correct. 100 for Kate. 100 point question. Facebook bought the instant messaging app. WhatsApp. <laughs> Incorrect. I'll finish the question. <laughs> Facebook bought the instant messaging app WhatsApp for $16 billion on Wednesday. That is 16 times the amount that Facebook... John. Instagram. That Facebook paid for Instagram two years ago. That's correct. 100 points for John. That ends the round. Kate with 300 points. Patrick with minus 100. John with 200. A lot of action in that round. That was fun. We move to some more serious stuff here. We double the value a little harder. The 200-point round here. 200-point questions. We're going to put 100 seconds back on the clock. And with this, we go. Michelle Obama traveled to New York this week. Uh, Patrick. Uh, Jimmy Fallon show. Tonight show. Incorrect. Uh, Michelle uh, Obama traveled to New York this week to celebrate the fourth anniversary of her Let's Move campaign and appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, telling Americans to do more of this. John. Exercise. Incorrect. Eat vegetables. <laughs> Eat more vegetables. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, the correct answer is drink water. She Aww. came to New York to tell people to drink water. 200-point question. During a speech on Wednesday, former President George W. Bush said that this presidential perk is the one that he misses most from his time in office. We're watching House of Cards, Steve. <laughs> Here's those crickets. We'll call... 
Time. He misses Air Force One. 200-point question. Former President Bill Clinton will appear Tuesday in a Senate campaign stop for this Kentucky. Kate. Allison Lundergan Grimes. He will appear in a campaign stop for Allison Grimes. That's correct. This is an instant bonus question, Kate, for 200 points. When Bill Clinton became the last Democratic candidate to carry Kentucky in a presidential race in 1996, he was joined at a pre-election rally in the state by what then University of Kentucky basketball coach? Jim Calipari. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's John Calipari. Very close. If just said Calipari, we would have expected that. The UMass coach. Yes, refused to lose. Then they took the banners down. 200-point question. President Obama apologized this week for saying that pursuing a skilled trade career would probably make you more money than if you got a degree in this. We'll call time. It's art history. Ah. Two, oh, that's the end of the round. Art historians Kate. get the groupies. Moving yeah. to uh, 300 points in that round. Patrick at minus 300. John falling to zero. But uh -oh. you're all within one, one question of each other because this is the Ph.D. level. This is the 300-point round. Mm. This is where champions are crowned. And remember... A really high score in this game could put you in that tournament of champions. This is the last chance for a new qualifier. The final round, 100 seconds on the clock. The 300-point round begins now. This Republican senator testified at his state capitol this week in favor of a proposal to restore voting rights to convicted felons. Time! It's Rand Paul. 300-point question. The legislature in this state passed a controversial, controversial bill this week that, would, that opponents argue would legalize... Uh, Kate. Arizona. Arizona would legalize religion-based discrimination against the LGBT com community. 300-point question. This Oscar-winning actor is slated to testify before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee next Wednesday about the prospects for peace in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Patrick. George Clooney. Incorrect. Any guesses? Time. It's Ben Affleck. 300 points. While he sits on an antitrust subcommittee, this senator recused himself this week from the Time Warner Cable Comcast purchase. Kate. Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer recused himself because his brother's an attorney in the deal. 300 point question. This 86 year old former Democratic governor of Louisiana and ex convict announced this week that he plans to run for Edwards. John. Edwards. Edwin Edwards is correct. 300 point question. A one-year-old man, Joe Newman, is seeking a congressional seat in Florida this year, who is the oldest current member of Congress. Patrick. North Carolina, uh, Cole. Incorrect. Kate. Ralph Hall. Ralph Hall of Texas is correct. Instant bonus question, Kate. Hall is one of two World War II veterans currently serving in Congress. Name the other. Charlie Rangel. Incorrect. It's John Dingle. No penalty, though. 300-point question. This state has just released a specialty license plate to benefit the sons of Confederate veterans featuring a prominent Confederate flag logo. Patrick. Alabama. Incorrect. It's Georgia. That's the end of the round. That's the end of the game. The final score, Kate Nocera with an impressive 1,200 points. Patrick. Negative 1,200, and John with 300. I bet on Kate. Kate, yeah. I will tell you, <laughs> that is, that may be enough. I'm not sure. It yeah. may be enough to put you in the Tournament of Champions. Our selection show is going to air next uh, Saturday, so you will find out now. then. But until then, yeah. you do have a prize package that Bill Wolf is about to tell you about. Yes. As our champion, you have your name printed in exquisite Sharpie on the coveted Up Against the Clock Gold Cup. And you'll get to take the trophy home with you and show it off to friends, family, and local school children for exactly one week. You'll also receive an appearance this coming week on MSNBC's The Cycle, airing weekdays, 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You'll also get to play in our bonus round for today's grand prize, a $50 gift certificate to Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey, serving up the best pranks in the greater Meadowlands area. Try the deep fried ripper. The relish is on us. Back to you, Steve. All right, there's that delicious prize package. Here is your jackpot <laughs> question, Kate, though, for that Rutz Hut gift certificate. The closing ceremonies for the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics will air tomorrow night. Name the city and country for the next Winter Olympics in 2018. The city, too? I know it's in South Korea. We'll Seoul. need the city. Seoul? 
Seoul is incorrect. It's Pyeongchang, South Korea. All right. I'm sorry, no Rutz Hut gift certificate. Thank you all, though, for playing today. No one is going to leave us empty-handed. Everyone will get the home edition of Up Against the Clock. That's fun for the whole family. One more way you can bring all the excitement of Up Against the Clock into your living room. So thanks to everyone at home for playing along. Kate, good luck. We'll see if you're in the Tournament of Champions. We'll find out next week. <clears throat> tune in for another, uh, tune in for the real show, the conclusion of the real show, <laughs> right after this.